Uh, still cameras, digital cameras, and just seeing the smiling faces of all those people, and man, we thank them for everything, too. When the guys were trying to describe this to you, did they come anywhere near what it was like? I, I really didn't ask guys questions. I just kind of wanted to have the experience for myself, but they said, dress, uh, it's going to be warm. So <laughs> dress light, you might get wet, and bring some uh, sunscreen, and bring your party boys. So that's what we did. Has this thing gotten heavy, though? Now this thing's getting lighter by the minute. It's, uh, it's amazing. Just to describe the emotions now that you've had a couple of days to, to realize what you've done. Well, I don't think it's still sunk in. You know, it's nice. To, this day is for our fans. This is the day where we want to share, you know, all the hard work that we put in is, is to be shared with uh, everybody here in the community, all the supporters of the team, all the people who support the causes that guys on this team try and get out into the community. Uh, this, this is why we play the way we play. Uh, is because of the heart of our of our community. Have you ever seen so many people next to a river before? I have not. I was telling somebody I felt like one of the pirates at Disneyland, you know, <laughs> having all these boats come by and, you know, my arm was getting tired from waving, so it was it was a, a joy to be out there. Have you ended the celebration at all? Has there been a moment where you've had to stop and relax or have it, has it been nonstop? I, I kind of been laying low and just spending time with family, just enjoying time uh, with the family at home and, and being quiet and just realizing what we've been able to do. but. The time for, for celebrating will probably be interesting too that they actually see one of the trolleys in the south end. If, imagine if you're a player inside one of those trolleys. You left here and the place was okay. You know, it was kind of full. A few thousand people. You walk in and the place is almost packed. That has got to be quite a sign. All right, in the tunnel, you can see the trolley, so it is approaching the south side of the Alamo Dome where there are so many people, even on the south side, up in the rafters, all the way around, a complete circle, thousands of people, and they're all looking. Everybody's leaning. Yep. I we will here. rock you about to play on the uh, speaker system I believe it's here time. at the Alamo Dome. The Spurs are indeed in the building. And we are just minutes away now from them driving in on these trolleys or walking in on the floor of the Alamo Dome. You know when you can the trolley, that close. Oh, yeah. They are here. They're ready. And these are the true fans here. I want to listen. This is not only Queen singing this song. They're singing along here in the Alamo Dome. The next time we get to the chorus, I want to put my mic over the edge here of the press box and let you listen in to uh, the crowd, listen. Because they were rock. This is a picture from uh, one of our cameras on the floor and a picture also from uh, up above as uh, we love our Spurs. There's the Silver Dancers getting ready to lead the team onto the floor. Some of the banners uh, above the tunnel. Those are people who are above the tunnel. They're not going to have the best seats for the celebration itself. So it's kind of taking place towards the, the north end. The they have the best seats once the team takes the floor. and we are waiting for the Spurs to get off those trolleys and walk onto the floor of the Alamo Dome. Yeah, the crowd here, absolutely. Every little movement that they see inside or outside, they're reacting to. They are really getting these fans excited. They know they are seconds away. I guess we can call those they call this trolley cam. Yeah, that I think we it's have trolley cam. To kind of <laughs> take an idea of when the Spurs either roll in and those trolleys or depart the trolleys and walk in through the tunnel here at the Alamo Dome. All right, it's also our where are the players cam. This is kind of our vantage point here above the Alamo Dome. 
Those are some of the people who are lucky enough to get floor seats. We are in one of the press box. All the these balloons, just, they were just falling moments ago from the rafters. So just about everyone in here has them. And there are some spots where it's just a sea of white wigglies in the air. People are definitely ready to celebrate Look, the San that sign Blues. said, the Detroit parade has been canceled. We continue to watch the trolleys. The celebration about to begin. And your championship San Antonio Spurs are about to enter the Alamo Dome. We're going to take a quick break, but we will be right back. Stay with us. Well, I think the celebration has officially begun. The Spurs Coyote arriving on a motorcycle to oh, kick off the 2005 version the dome, of the Celebration of Champions. The dome was darkened, the crowd went crazy, and the Coyote took center stage. And guess who can't be far behind? The Silver Dancers right behind him. And now we're waiting for our Spurs. Let's let you listen into this. They are now making their way through a tunnel of fans as they make their way to the stage. A lot of people wanting to high five the champions as they uh, arrive here at the Alamo Dome to make their way to a championship celebration in the round this evening. And you could tell by the faces of the players, they were impressed. Here they are.
three of the World Championship trophies on the stage. And the crowd loving every minute of it. The champions of the world. The first time for Brent Berry, and he is certainly living it up, snapping shots of people on stage, doing whatever he can. This has got to be an enormous... They're getting pumped up by the crowd, too. You know they're impressed with the turnout. shot of Tim Duncan taking pictures of all the people. To give you an idea of what's going on, Robert Ori and the rest of the Spurs are taking the three trophies. They took it to the north side. Now they're taking it to the west side. Now they're going to take it to the south side of the stage to make sure everybody gets to see it. Look that is what's the, going on right now. And look at the flashes going on from the audience right now. Hundreds of flashes as people are taking pictures so they can capture the moment and have it to remember forever. Robert Ori making sure he can hear the crowd. I don't think that's a problem. It looks like a strobe light almost. So many flashes are going off in the dome. The south side of the dome now showing their approval for the three NBA championships. Now coming to our side here on the east side, the final side of the stage. Listen to the crowd. Here you go, Spurs. Robert Ori polishing them up before he counts to three and then has the crowd react. One, two, three. It is officially <laughs> It's our trophy. 
OP2. That's what we knew when we saw this in the round that they were going to try to acknowledge the entire crowd, and they just did that with the three charges. All right, here we go. Let's start by introducing, ladies and gentlemen, give them a round of applause, Mayor Phil Harvard. celebration you have not missed any of the players spurs chairman peter holt speaking moments ago they just have the former spurs are going to recognize right now let's go to the stage all right let's listen we know him as the ice man ladies and gentlemen putting the butter on the finger roll george He joined former guests George Gurman, James Silas, David Robinson, Sean Elliott. Please help us welcoming number 00, Johnny Moore! And we cannot forget about the snake. Who remembers number 13, James Snake Silas? Come on, get it loud, Alamo Dome, for Paul Griffin! Mike Gale! Is that Mike Mitchell over there? Mike Mitchell, everyone! Keith! You know what, it's been a long time that we cheered the Spurs here in the Alamo Dome. So I'd like to hear you guys get up on your feet, make some noise as the world is watching you tonight at Spurs.com. Make some noise! We'll be right back with more continuing coverage live from the Dome. You are looking at a live picture of the Alamo Dome where some 50,000 San Antonians have gathered to cheer on our NBA world champion Spurs. Well, I think we're about to hear from some of those world champion Spurs. Let's now go live to the stage and the MC for the evening. If you've ever been to a Spurs game at the SBC this year, you've seen him crazy late. have to have championship coaching. Let's introduce the man. Well, you know what? Coach. Popovich, come on up here. Please, sir. You're not loud enough, San Antonio, for him to get up. Can you get louder? Can you get louder? Can you get louder? 
I had to pay those guys each 100 bucks to stand up. I'd like to introduce my staff to you if they come on out. Monty Williams, right here. Mike Budenholzer. Brett Brown. Joe Prunty. PJ Carlesimo. These guys do a great job preparing this basketball team better than anybody in the league. And we know we got the greatest guys. So let's give these coaches a round of applause for their work. Everybody in here? Everybody in here? Bob, you in here? 
Teresa, you ain't here? Okay. I want everybody, for God's sake, please. I am not Nazi Muhammad. I am Lipton Johnson. He is Nazi. You can tell the difference because I'm better looking to hear. And I dress better. Lyndon Johnson. Lyndon Johnson, everybody. Next up is just one of many foreigners on our team. This one happens to speak English, but it's, it's, it's a heavy accent behind it. Mr. Sean Ma. Top what Lennon just said, so thank you for everything all year. Appreciate it, guys. Thank you. Best fans in the world. Another foreigner. We haven't had two from this country. This one happens to be very young. He's a rookie. Everybody give it up for Ben Aoudri. Thank you very much for giving me this opportunity to be here and standing behind me all year. And I really appreciate it. Thank you. You're the best fans in the world. Thank you, San Antonio. Now to get away from the international flavor for a second, I want to give you guys something that's homegrown. Number 23. Thank you, thank you. Hey, all I wanna say is me being from San Antonio, this is very special for me to win a championship with such a class organization like this. We appreciate everything that you guys do. We look forward to seeing you next year. God bless. Our next gentleman coming up. We were very fortunate to happen to get this guy at a late time. He's a big time scorer. Woo, woo, woo. Give it up for Glenn Big Dog Robinson! Woo, woo. What's up, San Antonio? Yeah! Yo, I just want to say a couple of words. Two words. Thank you. Thank you for embracing me and letting me be a part of this championship San Antonio's first team. The minute I stepped off the airport, everybody embraced me like I was part of the family, and that's what it's all about. So like I said, I got two words. Well, first I wanna thank my mother, God bless her soul, and I just wanna say thank you guys. You guys are six men. Like Coach said, you the reason why we got through game seven. So we owe this all to you. Let's go.
Now you all know the next, the next gentleman I'm about to introduce. He loved it here so much, he decided to come back again. Everybody put your hands together for Tony Massenburg! What's up, San Antonio? First of all, I'd like to say, I've been playing for a very long time. This is a team that originally drafted me way back in 1990. At that time, I never knew that 15 years later, I would win my first NBA championship with the Spurs. That is a testament to this organization, and it's a testament to you guys. You show mad love. I love you guys. Thank you for having me back. Now it's about to go to it's about to go to another country right now. Some of that foreign flavor. We call it a big smooth one. Russia on the seven! I don't think there is much to say, but whoosh, this was good. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, a mid-season acquisition. Some of you have gotten confused with someone else up here. But this guy's a lot taller. Give it up for Nas and Muhammad! I just want to let everybody know, this is an unbelievable feeling. I waited so long to get to the, uh, get a chance to play for a championship with great guys, great fans, great coaching staff. Everything is great here. I just want to say thank you for the support. Thanks for the way you guys embraced me. And let's try to do it again. You know, when Danny Ferry was here, we thought he had all the quick comebacks, the quick jokes, things of that nature. But once he got here, he just took over all that. Everybody put your hands together for our three-point specialist, Brent Ferry! You guys, uh, Bruce, Bruce didn't say it, but you guys have been waiting a long time for us to get here, watching the, the festivities down on the river, which were fantastic. And we appreciate you guys staying here and waiting for us. And then Bruce came out and made this thing real boring. Everybody's talking about how great San Antonio is, and thanks for embracing me. Forget all that. Who wants to hear Tony Parker rap in French? Can we, get, can we get some music on back here? Can we get some music on back here? I need some music. I know he hasn't been introduced, but can I get some music back here? Is this a possibility? Mr. Holt, I know you can afford some music. Ah, Tony, come on. Uh, uh, come on. Come on, Tony. a shout out right now. Keep the music going. Don't turn that down. I'd like to send a shout out to my girl Eva. This one's for you. 
Yeah. Help me out. Give me something to say. 
You've never been here before? I don't know what to do, man. I've never been in this situation before. You must have selective amnesia. Oh, oh, my fault, my fault, my fault. Big shot up! Oh, what's it? But nobody's introduced Bruce. Go sit down. Go sit down. Go sit down. Well, our next player hit a very, very crucial three-pointer. Not in his spot, though. That's the key. Not in his spot. Not in the corners. He hit it from the 45-degree angle. So let's give it up for the defensive specialist, Bruce Boyd. Bruce playing in France, 
And he, he was playing no defense in France. He was just shooting all the balls, scoring 40 points. And now we call him a defensive specialist. That's what it is. No defense in France. Man, I'm so, so happy. I'm, I just want to say that I'm so proud to be a Spurs. And to be part of this team is just unbelievable. And to come out every night is unbelievable. But you guys are unbelievable, and I'm so proud. I'm just, I feel like I'm lucky. Thank you very much. Thank you all. This, this is just a, such a special day. Look at you. I mean, you've been here for three hours waiting for us to see us here. I may sound that I'm repeating, but you are the best, really. Take it for granted. So, I can guarantee one thing. I'm not leaving this town without winning another one.
introduce all these guys, and we have a French rapper, and we have a comedian, and we have everybody come out here and say thank you, and then they give me the mic, like, hey, Tim, do something better than that. It's not going to happen. I'm going to say thank you. I'm going to say thank you. You guys are the greatest fans around. You give us a true home court advantage. And each one of these guys is so special. This means so much to this team. And what you give to them, the energy you give to them, the energy you give to us makes all the difference in the world. So thank you. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, another round of applause for the 2005 NBA champion, Yao San Antonio Spurs! Ladies and gentlemen, a very special video. Take a look up high, way up here. This is just for you, San Antonio. It's certainly quite a spectacle there. All coming together, putting the number one finger up, and Manu Ginobili guaranteeing he will not leave San Antonio without another championship. So we will see four trophies. You are looking at a live picture again from the Alamo Dome as this victory celebration winds down here. A lot of memories were made inside this building this evening. Right now, balloons are being dropped from the rafters. Confetti is falling. The crowd is going crazy. It is unbelievable as you see the appreciation on the face of every player that has stepped up to the microphone tonight. And certainly acknowledging every part of this building, acknowledging that it was full, 
Robert Ori and a number of players taking the three trophies to the different corners of the stage to acknowledge the north, south, east, and west part of this section. And a lot of these players continue to linger on the stage, not wanting to, you know, forget this moment. Manu Ginobili getting out the home video camera there as they are, you know, engulfed in Spur fans. Right now they're announcing the Spurs. Our San Antonio Spurs. You know, Steve, one of the things I thought was hysterical was Popovich. I thought, I thought Pop, all through the playoffs, he has been a, a very humorous side of Greg Popovich you don't often get to see. And tonight was no different. I mean, he was funny on the river. He was funny here. It's a side of Greg Popovich we don't get to see very often. It was uh, great. You know, but we got to see one. We're going to take another quick break, but we'll be back with more live coverage from the Alamo Dome. Stay with us. You are looking at a live picture at the Alamo Dome where the fans are starting, starting to break up and trickle out after one phenomenal night of celebration. It was a great night. Many of these fans have been here since 4.30 this afternoon, while well, been inside since 4.30 this afternoon. They started lining up just after noon, is what Alamo Dome staff tell us, it's to amazing. get the best seat in the house. This celebration began around 9 o'clock, and as we said, a lot of people have been here for 10, 11 hours now. And I'm sure you've been watching all this coverage with us, but it was really moving to see the players and their reaction and their responses when they realized that this Alamo Dome is practically filled, I mean, completely filled up all the way to the rafters with fans who just wanted to celebrate with them. Yeah, and the reaction on the faces when you saw them first walk into the dome, Brett Berry, who has not won a world championship before. Uh, you saw his eyes light up as he saw this place completely full. And this is really where they started uh, their evening started their early afternoon. Many of them got here about five o'clock between five and five thirty. So those early arrivers got to actually see them as they loaded the trolleys and headed out to the river right, for the, the parade. The dome was not as full as it was certainly by the time they arrived back here about eight forty five or uh, shortly before nine o'clock when this real celebration began with the coyote ro rolling in on a I'm Harley <laughs> to kick the festivities classic. off with the same T-shirt he had on during game seven. Let your voices ring was a T-shirt he wore for the Game 7 uh, festivities. And, and this crowd tonight. did. This crowd definitely let their voices ring. And Bruce Bowen was kind of the MC for the players tonight. And he did a fabulous job. He is so funny. And we got to hear Tony Parker actually rap tonight, which was a whole new experience. We have seen so many things from this Alamo Dome over the three championships. And uh, I guess what sticks in my mind from 99 was Avery Johnson asking the crowd, did the Lakers win the championship? Did Utah <laughs> win the championship? Did the Knicks win the championship? That's what sticks in my mind from the first one. All right. The second one has to be Steve Kerr and his very special tribute to David Robinson and all he's meant to this community and meant to this team. Right. And tonight, I think the moment for me, other than Tony Parker rapping in French. It had to be It had to be Robert Ory. Robert Ory was great. I thought also, though, it was Manu Ginobili saying oh, yeah. he will not leave town without another world championship. His guarantee to the people of San Antonio. Let's hope it comes true. That's right. And Robert Ory got the crowd going with the three words. Go Spurs, go. This place was rocking tonight. We're going to wrap up here now, but we're going to be back with much more and the night beat coming up in a moment. Yeah, we're going to take a quick break. We'll be right back. This is KSAT 12's instant coverage. Parade of Champions.